All right, guys, so I'm still detailing the car. I've been doing it in pieces. Uh, been busy trying to do things, toggling the stuff, uh, kids going to school, um, trying to get job interviews, etc. So right now I wiped down the hood because they had some dew. Um, I'm still finishing on polishing it. The roof, I'm not going to really uh, worry too much on polishing it. I was just more concerned about clearing it, cleaning it. So I went ahead and already clayed the top. Um, I actually clayed everything. I'm actually polishing everything now. So what I want to do here is uh, do a little paint correction. Uh, pretty minor. This thing I'm not going to be able to do too much with the old PPF here. You see that line? Um, but I just want to polish it out like right there. The best I can uh, before prepping to uh, put ceramic coating on it. The headlights are still holding out. I'm going to do a quick polish before another quick polish before anything um, before I seal it with a ceramic, but it's not going to be today. I'm just, I'm just slowly trying to polish the vehicle. You see that shine right there? So it's pretty clean. It's actually the cleanest it's been since I've had it for like a year, and it's it's a used vehicle. So we're going to polish it, and then I think tomorrow I'm going to work on getting the ceramic. I think I'm going to do the roof first, only because it's not as visible. So if I screw up. Um, you guys can't harp on me as much, <laughs> so we'll be doing that. So we'll be back. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. If you haven't been to the channel, like I said previously, check out the other videos and like and share with others that you think can benefit, as well as subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can know when I have new videos. So I'm back. Uh, I'm going to be doing some paint correction here. You could correct things by hand, but it'll take you forever unless you've got some crazy kung fu. So I've learned over the years to get a polisher. Uh, this one's by Flex. I've had it for a while. You can see it's pretty beat up, but it's been tough. What I like about this, this is called a dual action polisher or DA. It, it was almost foolproof. It's almost foolproof that uh, you won't have any issues messing up your paint. Now, obviously uh, the pad, or application is going to make a difference. So if you're using the wrong pad or a dirty pad or something, you can cause issues. So make sure you do it right. I'll put a link to the description how where I got this one, but uh, there's a lot of great products out there. And it's just that Flex is one of the tried and true ones out there. Um, the pad I like to get, there's a lot of colored pads for applications. I usually get orange. Orange is a, I guess you want to call it a cleaner pad. So it'll help you clean their surfaces. There's more abrasive ones and less abrasive ones that you can get to uh, polish your vehicle. Having a white vehicle, it's a lot easier uh, than a black vehicle. A black vehicle, you really, really have to be careful. Darker colors are very, very, uh, what's the word? They're not picky and they're very, very sensitive to do things. So make sure you get a proper pad and clean pads. So I'll be using this flex polisher to correct the, the scratches and the inconsistency to clear coat. Not only that, it also preps it up for a sealant. So again, I'll be using a dual action polisher, an orange polishing pad. And I've had this for a while. It's gone a long way. This Menzerno stuff, um, Fast Gloss is a high performance compound. So it helps with, uh, you can see how the bottle is, but it's a one-step polish and it removes a lot of sand marks up to 1200 grit. So. That's what I need, nothing too hard uh, in Germany. Generally, you want to wear gloves, uh, so I'm going to put on some gloves in a second. Another thing is that you want a bottle of um, alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol mix, IPA mix. So it'll be a mix of 50% water and 50% alcohol. So that way you can spray your pad to get it ready and also clean the surfaces uh, of the paint so you know you made progress or not. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, so I'm not a professional. I'm just an avid DIYer. So, uh, but I'm always looking at ways of learning things and also saving money. So that's why I'm gonna be showing you guys what you can do to save money. So orange pad, it's a Roco base. Wow, this thing's getting old. I gotta get a new uh, part here. Anyways, uh, orange pad. We're gonna spray a little bit of uh, uh, IPA. Mix, I told you, alcohol slash, alcohol slash um, water. And then we're gonna put a couple dabs 
on the pad. You don't want to put it directly on the paint. You want to spread it out because you want it thin. And then now, let's make sure it's just a little number. So we're gonna spread it out. You want to do small sections. You don't want to do a big section because you don't want it to dry out. And then what you do is, this is variable speed, so I could control it. Okay. And I also have an increased speed, speed here. So I'm gonna slowly distribute it. I did it in two different uh, directions. I went up and down, zigzagging up and down, and then I went up and right, and that way it covers the area. Uh, this is, they call them dual action or random orbital, because it'll, it'll uh, replicate your hand, so your hand goes into this wax on, wax off mold, and that's what the buffer does, so. That's what we're doing, so now I'm gonna clean it off, hopefully it makes a difference. Generally, these edges you want to tape off if you don't want to contaminate, especially uh, dark edges with rubber. This one doesn't have any rubber. If you had rubber, you want to definitely cover it because that polish will get stuck in the rubber and dry out. So I went with a high speed, but you got to be careful. Uh, you don't want to burn the paint. Usually, you can't burn the paint as easily with dual action. If you had a rotary, uh, you definitely would burn the paint, which is a bad thing. Um, also, it can pull out your hands, so make sure you got this pretty tie it or you're gonna swing it. If you ever drop the pad on the ground, clean it out before you put in, before you do it again. This is not gonna be perfect because it's been sitting on that PPF for seven years, but uh, we'll see how it does. It's not perfect, but um, I wasn't looking for perfection. I was just looking for some correction. So uh, I think that's pretty clean. Seven year old truck, guys. Maybe eight, because 2021's coming out. Or came out. Uh, yeah. So next thing I'll be doing is putting on some Seacourts UK ceramic uh, sealant. It's the first time I ever used a ceramic, so I'm hoping I can do it right. I was, it was recommending me use that one. It looks pretty easy versus other ones and it looks to be pretty long lasting so if you haven't go ahead and please subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell and you get notifications when you get a new video uh, another thing i'll be doing is fixing these headlights as well you can see they're already faded thanks again peace out